Hi, this is MVR with a short story behind me and Sandy. The idea for this video project struck me while looking at coastal landscapes the spring after Sandy. Then, after finding there was no authoritative resource addressing storm impacts specific to seashore plants, I saw a serious need to address these impacts post Sandy and took this project on with my own observations and full capability as a landscape architect directing me. I visited three additional places hit hard by Sandy, the New Jersey Shore, Staten Island, and the Rockaways of Brooklyn. Right away, in each place, I recognized that their built environments and landscape plants clearly distinguished one place from another. For underlying them as places are distinct combinations of local geology, urban history, and current land uses. I saw, even back then, individual and compelling plant impact stories behind the landscape of each place, each a different sandy story, quite unexpected but fascinating in the study of places and truly valuable toward identifying landscape plants resilient to coastal storms for the northeast. However, it was impractical, if not impossible, to combine any such urban story to the documentary that I had by then well constructed on Fire Island, whose environments and plant impacts proved challenging enough, demanding a focus of their own. Beyond these stories are countless more that involve New York City and its metro area, central and sandy impact. I hope for local resilience, more sandy landscape stories get told by me and others. For now, the professional content in Fire Island Part 2 will educate residents in all Northeast coastal areas and help landowners, design practitioners, and community officials involved in seashore landscape restorations. Video emphasis is not Sandy's destruction, but hope and renewal in her wake, realized through dune restoration, remedial planting, and landscape planning to prevent or lessen future storm damage. This is MVR, a voice for resilience.